Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, The Growing Developer. In this video, we'll learn about Stateful Widget. We'll get an overview of how the functions of Stateful Widget works. In this video, we'll learn about three most important functions. First one is init state, second set state, and third dispose function. These three functions are most important, and so we'll discuss about it. And understanding of these functions will do a lot of your work. Let me just begin by showing you a demo. In this demo, you can see that whenever I am clicking this button, the counter value is getting increased by one. And how does Flutter know that there is some rendering going on behind the scenes? That is, this value, this counter value is getting refreshed each time I am pressing the button. So which function makes it possible or which functions commands the Flutter engine or the app engine to refresh the screen? Also. As I restart this app, you can see that the counter value is initialized with 1. Now, which function can be used to give an initial value to the uh, any variable or any state or any function, right? So, we learn about uh, these two functions in this video. Let's begin the understanding of stateful widgets. The growing developer. Before learning about the init state, set state and dispose functions, let's first understand what is the basic difference between stateful widget and stateless widget. In stateless widget, you can't change states. That is, a stateless widget will remain as you have designed them, no matter how you change the app state. Whereas for stateful widget, the values, the color values, be it be color values, shape, decorations, everything can change based on some events that you fire on the app. For example, in the demo app, you saw that whenever I was clicking this button, the counter value was getting updated. That means we are changing the counter value. Why was it possible? Because I have wrapped this whole scaffold widget inside a stateful widget. That's the basic difference between stateless and stateful widget, right? So whenever you need an app that can change from time to time based on some events, so you need to declare them as stateful widget. Done. How to tell Flutter to change the state? So we have a, st a set state function. Whenever you are changing some value from one point to another, always, always remember to call the set state function. Like I'll show you by the example. Let me just give counter a value of zero and rerun that, right? You can see that counter value is changed to zero here. Now. Inside our flat button, we have an on pressed property where we can define the function that needs to be called that has to be called whenever we are pressing this button. So inside that function, I'll write counter plus plus. That means increase the counter by one each time this value is getting updated. Now, let's see. I'll read on the app. Now you can see that as I'm pressing this button, the counter value is not getting changed. In fact, the counter value is getting changed but it is not reflecting back here on the screen now let me just show you a cool trick if i hot reload the app you can see that counter value is automatically changed from 0 to 10 that means i have pressed this button 10 times what happens when i reload the app when i reload the app it rebuilds the whole state that's why the whole state was rebuilt and the counter value new counter value was updated here so so what is a function that automatically he hot reloads the app whenever we are pressing it? So we have a set state function. So how we can do that? Inside this, let me just, you write S E T and you can see the options here. So set state, we have a set state function and inside this, I'll just copy this or rather cut this and paste it here. Now you can see that whenever I'll be pressing this button, a set state function will be called. And whenever a set state function is called, the whole widget is rebuilt so if i press this you can see that the counter value is now getting increased that's because we are setting the state again and again we are rebuilding the widget again and again done now next thing is here for the variables i have given an initial value of zero right that will work for variables or some instance but some uh, but sometimes you need to have or rather I can say that sometimes you need to uh, make instances of some classes inside that widget only. 
for that we need to have an init state what does init state function do let me just show you that's how we define an init state function you just write in it and it will automatically you can get this in the options so super dot init state needs to be called and it's, it's overridden sometimes you need to give some value to some variables or some instance only once in a full lifetime that means whenever this app will be run i want the counter value to be 4 wait a minute counter equals to 4 now this value let me just restart this app and show you you can you can see that counter value is 4 why because init state is the function that is called first when a app is loaded when a widget is loaded on the screen so in init state i initialize the value to be 4 now after that you can see that whenever i'm calling the set state function that is whenever i'm pressing this button the value is getting changed right if i hot reload this app the value will be same but not 4 because init state is called only once once in a lifetime of widget that is whenever your widget is on the screen it will be called only once that is when your widget will be built so that's all for the init state and set state uh, this was important because for the for further part of videos we'll be playing with uh, stateful widgets so understand this init state Inside init state, you have to declare or define those functions or call those functions that you want to be called only once, right? And whenever you need, uh, whenever you want to change the state, you have to call set state function, right? You can play with values here. I'm just uh, see here. I'm just changing the text inside a text widget. You can also play with colors. You can also play with padding. Anyways, we'll learn all about that in further videos. And in the weekend videos also we'll be playing with the stateful widgets. So that's it for today. With uh, that's it for today's video. You learned about set state and init state in most simpler terms. I have tried to explain it to you in very simple terms. And because if you go to the documentations, you might find many complex terms there. So I have tried to explain it in very simple terms. Hope you understand it. Hope you like this video. Hope you learn something from this video. Stay safe, stay home and watch the videos, right? That's the cool trip that I'm telling you again and again. So stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already and share this video to others too. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.